how to add a voice to your videos. Hey everybody, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the voice function inside of Vidnami. Now in the previous video, I showed you how to copy and paste your script, how to format your script on the screen, and to change the images and the clips so it all look nice. If you wanna watch that video, there's a link in the description. So now we've done that, you can see we've done the script, We've created the scenes, and although voice is the next step, which is the main point of this video, I wanted to show you this preview section first. You can actually preview your video without a voice, and it will automatically put some music in the background. So I'm going to press play for a few seconds and show you what it looks like. I apologise if it's a little bit loud. So you kind of get the, get the idea. Okay, so anyway, this is a low resolution of the video. When you actually download your video, it will download in high definition. So don't worry if this doesn't look perfect or if it comes across a little bit choppy. It's not like that once you get the finished product. Now we can play around with this. Um, for example, we have um, select music, we have options, we can reduce the music volume, we can increase it, it's entirely up to you. You just play around with it until it's something that you feel comfortable with. And you can add a watermark as well, and you've got a bunch of kind of stock tunes that you can add and test and see which, see which kind of works. And as you hover over them, as you see, it plays automatically. But let's go back to voice. So that was this section here, no voice track, music only. Now, they have three options. I really, really do not recommend the auto voice. Now I know this is one of the big selling points of Vidnami. You can create a video, you can use their auto voice, and you never have to speak or create a voiceover. And that's attractive for a lot of people. However, it's not bad, but it still sounds like a robot. You can play around with it for ages and get it sounding pretty good, but it's not perfect. Nothing replaces a human voice. And there's no reason to be scared of speaking and putting your voice out there. Now, I understand people are fearful of showing their face. But the first step of getting over that fear is to, you know, get your voice out there. We all sound a little bit different when we hear our own voices. We don't like how we sound. I get that. But the more you hear your voice, the more accustomed and you get, just get used to it, basically. And people are judging you all the time anyway on a bunch of different things. So who cares what people think? We all got different accents. We speak differently. Just be you and don't care what anybody thinks about it. That's my personal opinion. So let's look at these two options here. We can record our own voice track or we can upload a voice track. Now, uploading a voice track, of course, means you've got to create it prior. The best way to do that is to get your script you know, somewhere on the screen and then use a free tool such as Audacity. Now I'm just gonna open up Audacity. You can download it for free. It works on a Mac or a PC, and you can see it kind of populating here. I'm not actually gonna use Audacity right now. We'll get rid of that, but bring this into screen. All you'll need to do is kind of get it, you know, get your script ready, and you can hit record. You then read your script aloud, and then you hit stop. That's basically it. So let me, let me give you a quick example. So I'm gonna hit record. Review videos explain to the audience better. That's that. The reason I left a little bit of silence is because when you press record, you may not want to start speaking straight away or you may make a mistake and start again. So what you can do is you can click just before you speak and then drag across to the start. Then you, it's kind of out of the screen right now, but you click edit and you'd hit cut and that would remove that. And you do the same at the end. You'd just highlight that end bit, you'd hit edit and you'd hit cut. And that would remove any pause at the start or the finish. And then all you'd do is you'd export this to your desktop, either as an MP3 or as a WAV file. And then you can, um, I'm going to close that off. Then you can um, upload that directly inside of the system. So if I was to click on this, I could then just drag and drop my file in here. But the easiest way, and it, that's often what I do, but the other way, which is really easy, is this one. You record your own voice track. So I've got allow my microphone. And basically, it's sentence by sentence. So what happens is you'll hit record, there'll be a little countdown, you'd speak, you'd record your voice, and if you're happy, you go on. So let's give you an example of how this works. Review videos explain to the audience better. So it kind of uploads it automatically. There's no files, and we can press play, and we can decide if we like it or not. Review videos explain to the audience better. So if we're happy, we'll hit next, and then we get the next sentence, and it populates automatically, and we do exactly the same thing. So let's try that. Users want more information about the various products that they consider buying. 
same kind of deal. And you just go through this sentence by sentence. So let's hit play. Users want more information about the various products that they consider buying. So let's imagine we don't like that, for example. We can click this, we can do it again. Users want more information about the various products that they consider buying. And then if you like, you know, the second, op the second time, you can go through and you just do it one by one. And once you're done, you're done. So again, I'm gonna pause the video and just go through and do this and I'll see you in two secs. Okay, so I've been through and I've completed the sentences and now I'm going to click preview your video and it's going to create everything and sync everything together. It may take 30 seconds a minute, it really depends on the length of your video. If you've got a video that's 5-10 minutes long and you've got a poor internet connection it might take a little bit longer. So again, I'm going to pause the video once more while this goes ahead and does its thing in the background. Okay, so now it's done and we can have, a, we've got a couple of options basically. We can manually adjust the timing or we can just play it here and if it looks good we can continue. But I would always recommend manually adjusting the timing. Now before that I might go and add a watermark. So I could add this watermark here, so that's cool. I could come to my options and the music volume, yeah I agree. I think the music volume should be some, somewhere between 7 or 8%. Your voice should be 100% and leave leave it as is. And we're just going to hit apply, which again then, because we've made changes, we've now got to apply all of that. So again, I'm going to pause the video. Actually, maybe I don't need to pause the video. Let's see. Um, building our preview. So, okay, we're good to go. So now we hit manually adjust timing. And this is going to allow us to make sure that our voice and the text on the screen and the slides are all synced together. Because it does a very, very good job. But it's not always 100% perfect. And you may need to drag slides from side to side. So let's hit play. I'm not going to go through the whole video, but I'll just show you how it basically works. Review videos explain to the audience better. Users want more information about the various products that they consider buying. The best so again, if I decide I want to move this across a little bit, I can click back here, which will bring this red line here. And then I can decide that this slide, I want this to you know, appear a couple of, you know, half a second later. So let's go through it. that they consider buying. The best way to understand how a product... Okay, and again, you go through there. Now, the negative side of doing it this way is that occasionally you might hear a mouse click or two in the background. Now, they do have help articles on how to get rid of the mouse clicks, um, but that's why, on a personal opinion, I generally use the Audacity style myself because I've got the script on screen. All I've got to do is press play once, wait a few seconds, and then I read it, you know, one or... It, sometimes it takes, you know, a couple of attempts. I might make a mistake or, you know, re read something wrong and then I get frustrated and I've got to do it again. But I find that that way does eliminate any of the clicks that might appear this way. But if you want to do it this way, you don't want to, rec um, you know, use Audacity, maybe you've not got a decent microphone, then this is an option for you. And once you're happy, you click on looks good and it creates your video with everything synced up and then you can download it in high definition. So that's it. Very, very simple. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know. And if you'd like to check out Vidnami, there is a link in the description and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.